Hello, Kelsey Taylor here. Welcome to another movie review. Now today I'm going to review an anime movie that is kind of overlooked. Some people around my age probably remember this. I'm going to be reviewing The Iron Giant. Now, I haven't seen this movie um, since, like in, I think, over 15 years or something. Um, I remember seeing commercials for it when it was new, and um, it did not do well at the box office. It came out around the same weekend as um, The Sixth Sense. Um, I think it did well on home video, and um, I remember seeing this movie, like, a lot on TV. They used to play it all the time on Cartoon Network. Um, but um, in recent years, this became overlooked, like I said. And I even expressed an interest in watching it again since, um, you know, um, a lot of people around my generation or something like that um, remember this film and praise it as a, as a classic film. Um, I remember liking it fine as a kid. I remember watching this, like, a lot like I said, on TV, or maybe, maybe I rented on VHS, but I cannot remember. Again, I remember seeing ads for it, and this movie kind of like left a huge impact on people. So, I gave it a watch last night, and it holds up phenomenally well. In fact, I think I like this a lot more than I did as a kid. Now, what's the plot? Basically, um, this takes place in um, the late 1950s during like the, the bomb scare and, you know, that kind of event. Um... <clears throat> A boy named Hogarth um, discovers this um, robot um, that came from outer space. He has to, you know, keep it protected and everything from the U.S. government that's trying to um, find it and possibly take it down. And yeah, it's just, just pretty much what it is. Um, you know, like a creature coming from space, like a robot or alien, and a befriending a child. It's nothing new, but in this movie, um, it plays completely different. It's not much like an E.T. rehash or anything like that. Um, it's almost completely original, and it's like one of those anime movies that don't get made nowadays. Like, don't get me wrong, there's been um, really good um, anime movies like since then. Like, like the same company put out um, the Lego movies as well, and, and you know, those movies are really fun for kids. Um, this one has a lot of dramatic moments, funny moments, great animation with some CGI mainly on the robot, and I would say it's really, really timeless. Like, I wouldn't pick up as a kid that this one took place in the 1950s. I just looked at this kind of like a timeless film. It's not like hip and dated or anything. Um, so that's why I would highly recommend this film. Now, um, if I told you that Finn Diesel does the voice of the Iron Giantess, you would not believe me, but he really does. But his voice came off as so unrecognizable. Like, you couldn't even tell it was Finn Diesel. Like, he disguises so well. Even the voice on the Iron Giant is pretty good. I don't know if at the time this film came out in 99, I don't know if at the time Finn Diesel was that popular, but this is before the films he was, um, you know, well known for, like, the Fast and the Furious series. So you couldn't tell it was Finn Diesel. Like, you wouldn't call it a Finn Diesel robot. I just look at it as just the Iron Giant, and that's, you know, all you need. So, um, if you haven't seen this movie in a very long time, you wonder if it does hold up, as if, it, if it's, um, you know, just worth looking back on. It really is. <clears throat> I would probably put it on the list of my favorite anime movies of all time list. I mean, this one still holds up. More people should see this movie. Um, I'm interested in doing a video, like, mainly after I'm done moving to my new house. Um, I'm thinking about doing a video talking about overlooked movies. I've done a video talking about must-see movies, but I want to do a video talking about some overlooked films, anime and live action, that a lot of people don't talk about as much. Like, this movie just, I don't know, is kind of under the radar for some animated fans, but I highly recommend this film. It's on Blu-ray, and uh, definitely, definitely worth checking out for some great animation, a really good story, and yeah, um, I think kids should see this movie. Like, if you have any younger cousins or kids of your own, show them this film. Like, you won't regret it. I mean, <clears throat> I had a lot of fun watching this again, and especially the ending, I won't say what it is, but it's one of those tear-jerking moments, and I, I really, really loved it. I love it almost as much as a kid, but I think a lot more as an adult. It's that good. So um, that's my brief review of The Iron Giant. Um, if you have seen it, let me know what you think of it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Adios.